okay so welcome back to this course so in our previous section we have almost completed our 80 percent of the or 90 percent of the back end we have added all the functionalities we just have to add the cloud nary to upload the images and also we have to add the stripe for the payments on the back end only okay now before doing that i also want to do my front end first because i have to pass some data from the front end to back end uh, to add those two functionalities okay so now from this section i'm going to start building our front end so first of all we have to install the react as you know that i have created an empty folder here with the name front end so what i do is i simply go to my terminal i cd to front end and just type here uh, npx create react app now i am already in my front end folder so I put here dot because I want to install the react app in the front end folder. Okay, so let's press enter to install the react and all the dependencies related to it. Okay, so now our React is successfully installed. You can see in the front end we have a lot of files here. But before moving toward our files and clean the project, I also want to install some dependencies. Uh, so what I do is I simply type here uh, npm i am going to install all the uh, dependencies that you can also install at this point. Okay, so the, first of all we have to install the Axios because you have to send the request to the backend. Uh, so for that I'm going to use the Axios okay so you must need to install this and after that let's also install the react dash alert so the react dash alert is a package that helps us to show the alert messages as you have seen in the demo video of this course and also we have to install here react alert template basic okay so this is the package that we have to install with the react alert because this gives the template of the react alert so axios and react alert and then react alert template basic then let's also install the react bootstrap because we need uh, some uh, bootstrap components uh, in this project also okay so you can also install react bootstrap then also we have to install the react helmet so React Helmet is a package that helps us to add the custom data to the page. For example, if we want to add our custom title, then we can use the React Helmet. Okay. So also install it. And after that, let's also install the React Redux. Okay. Because we have to use Redux for our state management. So we also need some packages for Redux. So first of all, we need React Redux. Then we also install need to install the Redux. And then the Redux. Redux Thunk and then I'll also install the uh, Redux dash dev tools extension so we are going to use the uh, react dev tool extension on in our chrome to basically manage our uh, Redux okay so we have to install the Redux react Redux react Thunk and then react dev tool extension okay and let's also install the react router dom okay so we have to use the we have to route through different uh, links so we have to use the react router dom so i think so these packages are enough right now we also have to install other packages like slider countries list then pagination and input range whatever we want to use but i want to install these packages that every user must need to install okay so axios react alert and bootstrap helmer redux so all i think all everyone need these packages so press enter to install all these all these packages and then we will move on and clean our react project okay so these packages are installed successfully now we can clear the terminal and let's work on our project okay so let's move it down if i go to the front end folder 
and I'll go to package.json or oh, sorry package dot json you will see that we have all our dependencies here okay so definitely you have to install this okay let's close this one first of all let's go to our public folder and um let's go to our index.html file let's clean this file first of all i can remove these comments here and then we have to first of all change the title to shop it complete e-commerce project okay and I can also put in the description complete e-commerce site by using merge Okay. so now for adding this we also have to add here the link to the font awesome uh, bootstrap but also we have to add the javascript files for the bootstrap okay so let me bring in those so first of all let's put in here the uh, you can see that here this is the bootstrap you can also use the React Bootstrap uh, throughout this course. You can you don't have to use this, but I have already, as you know, that I have already created the HTML templates, so I want to use the Bootstrap link. Okay, then you, I have to also add the Font Awesome here because I want to use Font Awesome icons, and then I also have imported here the font that I'm going to use is Amazon Ember. Okay, so you can use this link to also uh, bring in the uh, this app Amazon Ember font if you want to use so bootstrap um, CSS file then the font of awesome CSS file then the font that is Amazon Ember and this is optional if you want to use or not then also I have to bring in the uh, script files for the bootstrap and jQuery so I copy them and I put them right here okay so this is for the uh, basically we have to use the bootstrap model in that and we also have to use this drop down menu on the user so we have to use the jquery and all these uh, three scripts that you can get from the bootstrap website also okay so we just have to add these three script files and then these three link files in our index.html file so simply save it and close this Then I go to my source folder and I want to delete this index.html uh, index.css app test.js logo then let's also delete these two files okay so simply delete and now I can go to my app.js and here you can see that it is this component is rendering uh, these like image or a tag whatever we have here if we go to our index.js file then it has the app component in it okay so i can move these from here so we just have to go back and let's just delete all this from here and let's simply put in here the h1 that says that shop it okay and then simply save it you can also go to app.css file because i want to add my own css so simply save that also and we also have to delete this one save it app.js we have to delete this one also simply save it and just now if you go to my package or json file you will see that to run this project or uh, this front end we need to run the npm start so it is basically going to start our uh, this front end react react project in the development mode okay so you can simply type in here npm start to start the front end uh, in the react okay you can see that starting the development server and now it is starting here so we have an error in the cannot resolve index.css okay so let's go back here and we also have to remove this one 
because it, that is that doesn't exist we have deleted that so simply save it and then we also have here the index.js yes we have to also remove it from here now simply save it now we have report web vitals is not defined so we have also removed this one save it and now if i go back to my chrome and reload it you will see that here we got here shop it all right so basically our project is running on the front end on on the local host port 3000 you can see here shop it complete e-commerce site and this is the by default fabricon we will change that and i think so we are good to go i hope that you know the basics of react so basically this is our main file index.js is our main file that has the app component in it and the app component we have we have to add our other components like header footer and all the components that we want to use and you can see that this is a functional component okay so i hope that you understand we have installed the react we have installed the the main packages that we have to install related to the react react dom or redux okay and then also we have clean our project so in my next video i will basically uh, add my header component and the footer component and i put them in there okay so i will see you in the next video